I look really greasy <laughs> and I am. For some reason I thought putting makeup on, that would make you feel better. It doesn't. Hi guys, it's Luna. Hey, welcome back. I'm sad my last video got age restricted and all that and I'm just like, fuck you guys. But here's a random topic that I wanted to talk about this week. I did have another video in mind. I had two videos in mind actually, which I'll probably still record and I might even upload this week. No promises whatsoever, but I might. We're gonna be talking about the Proud Family and the reboot and specifically not actually about the reboot itself. We're gonna specifically be talking about how people feel about a certain topic within this show. Now, as you can see, a bitch is black. A bitch is so black. So I think a lot of black people, not all, but a lot of black people can relate to growing up watching this show and just fucking loving it and relating to it in a lot of ways and finding it very therapeutic almost to see yourself represented on TV in some way shape or form. Now this show is basically just about a typical black family honestly. A lot of us had family like that. A lot of us had parents or grandparents like that. Now this show is straight up just typical black family living their lives learning life lessons like shit you would have seen coming from well tv back in the day but no white people <laughs> not none but like it isn't white centered and as refreshing as that may be one particular thing people had a very uh, like they had a problem with it they still have a problem with it even though the show has been rebooted I hate the theme song with a passion i don't know it just doesn't hit the same as the original but the one thing you will hate with the passion was the colorism within the show. And here's why I'm just like, gonna disagree with you on that one. The colorism, the homophobia somewhat in there. I don't mind it. Here's why I don't. Let's stop pretending as if that shit isn't alive and well still in the black community. Like our mothers and fathers and grandparents will have the exact same views as Oscar does with boys wearing makeup. And how most people have with the gross sisters and how ashy they are. And even how people fucking treat Dijonet. That shit is very prevalent in this community. So to kind of feel some type of way because it's there in this show, I get feeling like I don't like that. I feel like we need more shows where those things don't happen. I don't think this is a show to complain about that with, you know? This is literally just supposed to represent this type of family, the hardship they go through yada 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 and with that realism will come the real life examples of the prejudices the double standards the colorism the hateful attitude of some characters uh, you know like I'm talking about and while someone obviously like Penny and Dijonet and I don't know how I call her Dijonet like that but Dijonet, La Cienega, all of them will have no problem whatsoever with somebody makeup somebody Oscar's age is going to have that problem while adults or older people will see that this colorism is a problem and it probably shouldn't be as prevalent someone like Penny and her friends aren't gonna fucking realize that. They're kids, they're teenagers. They're growing up in a peer pressure type environment. And yes, they have black parents that are somewhat healthy and, and, and good. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know, Oscar's kinda, he be doing, he kind of he kind of a bum, let's be honest, he's he kind of bumming it. But while they, she grew up in a you know, normal family and whatnot, it doesn't mean those things aren't prevalent well outside of her family outside of her home they very much are look at la cienega's hateful ass she's she's a hater down to her core worst person in the world terrible who likes her nobody but who hangs out with her how many friends does she have she has a whole group of friends who tolerate her bullshit like we're gonna be we're gonna get mad at the colorism and the realisticness of said colorism then i don't understand why la cienega still has friends we all are just still confused but no one seems to have a problem with that we're all just like well she's hateful but that's just her character like you get what i'm saying and again i'm not saying people can't have that opinion i'm just saying that i feel like this isn't the show to have that opinion on or to feel so strongly about it colorism is a genuine problem especially with penny being a light-skinned girl 
Dijanae and God, I wish I knew the other girl's name. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. The new girl, them both being dark skin and one of the only dark skin characters are, you know, dark, dark skin. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's, it'd be weird if they didn't put it in there, honestly. And if they had changed her design, and I feel like it would have been worse if they had changed her design and then ignored the problems that Dijanae had or the problems that, like the stuff that people would genuinely do or act towards or like the way they were when they were around Dijanae or or act like it doesn't exist or act like it doesn't happen especially in a show like this where especially in the original they showed that type of stuff to then go away from that and be like okay well now Dijanae is skinny or she's fat but nobody cares anymore or it's not a problem or it just doesn't exist it would be really weird it actually would be very irritated that that would have happened like oh you so you guys are just gonna ignore all the shit that the problems that you bring up even the gross sisters them being like as dark to you know and being considered looking ashy which to be fair i don't think it's because they're dark skin i think it's just a general thing of like they're dark skin and they're poor and i wouldn't say they don't take care of themselves but like they stay in braids and they've already you you know they're they grew up in a very i want to say rough household but it was very much like the girls wear jumpsuits every day steal from people things like that and most likely they're doing this because of the way they were treated, because of how they look. And do you know what I'm saying? So while Penny and them, Penny and them may not solely treat them bad because they look the way they look. To act like anybody else wouldn't or to act like they wouldn't and then they wouldn't turn out a certain way. Because they could be a Dijanae where they just take it and they're just poor and they just got 14 brothers and sisters. Or you could take it like the Road Sisters did where then you can become mean and hateful and bitter because people treated you differently because the way you looked or the way that you act or the way that you grew up or because of a certain thing. And I'm not saying that, you know, them robbing people is cool, but it's obviously something deeper. Basically, I think it's more of the perception of the girls, not the exact reality of what they actually look like. And because remember the makeover episode with that one girl where she changed like how she looked and she distanced herself from her sisters. And as soon as that happened, she became more attractive. People liked her more. All of a sudden that ashiness that we saw as unattractive and all that, like it wasn't a problem. Like it was before but when she went back to her sisters that shit came back doesn't necessarily mean that they stopped thinking that she was ashy it's that part of people's perception of her change that's how i feel i don't know man i'm just making theories so i don't know there were a lot of other points people made about the show so i'm like okay i can understand but i don't know so far the themes they're addressing while not going in depth because it's not like that type of show and it's still like supposed to be a kid's show or a, sh or a show for teens that people watch um while not going super in depth when it comes to like their issues and really taking the time to continue after whatever episode you know the effects of whatever that was I think with the thing with La Cienega and her cousin, the thing with Sugar Mama, the thing with the tea, all of that, all of that stuff, Dijane, all of that stuff, it's a good example of like that realism. And I just feel like they handled it okay. They probably didn't handle it the perfect way or showed the best examples they possibly could. I mean, I can understand that, but to be maybe irritated with the colorism in general, like that's the problem when that happens and for and that's a, a thing uh, i think in general in the black community we try to ignore like that doesn't happen we don't do that i'm not colorist against this girl i don't act a certain way some of y'all be looking at at bitches like i don't think he wants you you're a little too sorry like let's be honest here. because if i looked the way i looked and there's a light-skinned person next to me most people are gonna go for her most people are gonna help her. Most people are gonna call her pretty before they look at me and say anything. Doesn't matter if I'm prettier than her, doesn't matter if we're, we look the same, doesn't matter if we're both bad bitches. It don't matter. They're just gonna go for her because she's light skinned. And that's no shade against her, but it could be, and it could be another black person. It could be a light skinned person. It, could be, it just is what it is for some people. Again, this isn't all the time, but it's enough to where it's a thing that we do still. And we still let people do still. Some of you bitches still will be getting mad if your darker skinned friend, you could be as light skinned, you could be as medium skinned, if your darker skinned friend got this nigga and you didn't, you'd still be looking at them crazy like, hmm. So I don't know. I like it. La Siena is a little bit racist, right? We all, we all, we're all, she never says it, 
But like, does she really have to say it? Like, the way she acts, does she really have to say anything? Tell me how you guys feel. Tell me if you feel similar. Tell me if you feel differently. Tell me if I'm overreacting. Tell me if I don't get it. Tell me if I, what I'm not getting, like what it, what it is. If I'm not giving, what am I not giving? What am I not getting? I need to know. I'm gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go tie dye and take a shower so I don't smell musty anymore. <laughs> But, oh, also tell me who your favorite character is. Personally, mine is Sugar Mama, but that's the only because, like, she reminds me of my grandma a lot. So, like, I don't, like, I have, like, a little sweet spot right here. But, yeah, tell me how you guys feel. Who's your favorite character? How well or not well you think the show did with their colorism and their shit? Just tell me. But I'm gonna go. No, that was wrong. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.